What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wadcast. In this video, we're going to be following up with another Leon Black story. So I covered this woman that we're going to be talking about today a couple of months ago. I'll link that video in the top right hand corner where I detailed her allegations against Leon Black. She was basically sexually assaulted by him multiple times or, uh, over the course of many different years since 2008. So I went through her civil lawsuit that she filed and we have some updates on on that. So, so we're going to be talking about this video. But this these are the factual allegations. Allegations. I went through allegations um, against Leon Black. Uh, this woman was a Russian model and uh, her name was uh, Gazelle Ganieva. So she alleged certain things against him, very violent assaults that took place in certain uh, locations. She gave a general description of the time period and, uh, 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 and exact locations of where these attacks happened. So these are verifiable things. And I detailed all the relevant details of this of these allegations in that video so go check it out if you missed it but we have we have a little bit of an update on this because two sources from inside the DA's office have come out and said that Ganieva and another woman identified as Jane Doe recently met with prosecutors from the Manhattan DA's office regarding their allegations against Leon Black so um, the Manhattan DA's office is uh, refusing to comment on any uh, ongoing investigations. And the Leon Black lawyers have said that they deny all allegations and he's totally innocent and that they're asking the DA's office to investigate Ganieva because they claim that she's try trying to extort uh, Leon Black. That's the same argument that they made in these papers, which I covered for you guys. The lawyers for Ganieva basically uh, dismantled the arguments made by Black's lawyers in their uh in their civil complaint. So like I said, go check out that video if you missed it. But when you look at the allegations made against Black, they're very specific. And you would have to be like some kind of screenwriter uh, to make up these allegations with this kind of detail. So I'm not buying for a second that nothing happened between them and that or it was a consensual relationship that went bad, which is always what rich guys always say after they rape women. Oh, they're just a bunch of Russian hookers or whatever hookers that just wanted money. I, I wouldn't give it to them. So they blackmailed me. This is the this the age old argument of lecherous old men who get caught raping women and they think their power and position will help them get away. So I hope that the DA's office is actually investigating him. Plus, there's the other angle of the fact that he kept doing business with Jeffrey Epstein even after Jeffrey Epstein was prosecuted in Florida. He was one of the one of the most prominent people that actually uh, stayed close to him. The other uh, another one are the Dubins, both the husband and the wife. The, hu the wife actually dated Jeffrey Epstein back in the 1970s. And uh, and she still made she was still making uh, excuses for Jeffrey Epstein even after he was found guilty and got a very light sentence back in 2007, 2008, or 2007, I should say, back in Florida. So he is just like the Dubins who uh, who made excuses for Jeffrey Epstein. Now, he's no longer making excuses because it's hurting his, it was uh, about to hurt his business, um, whatever capital management company he had. Um, so he backed off and he's like, oh my God, I made a mistake. I sincerely apologize to everybody involved now that, I, now that I've been exposed, right? And uh, after Ganieva's lawsuit was filed back in March, um, he actually took an early retirement. He was supposed to retire in July, I think, and then he retired early. Something like that happened. Anyways, everything he does looks guilty, although that doesn't mean that he is guilty. Things have to be proven out in a court of law. Um, when it comes to the civil suit, I think they will definitely settle with Ganieva. That's my uh, opinion on what will happen based on the facts, because uh, she has a very detailed case against him. Now, I want to talk about the other side, too. If they want to claim that Ganieva is lying, which is what they're claiming. They're claiming that he, she's extorting, she's extorting uh, Leon Black. Uh, Ganieva, this model, a former model, is extorting Leon Black. Well, like I said in the beginning, she makes very detailed accusations against him about the about where, where the attacks took place and how he used a belt and all these details are very disturbing. She lays all this stuff out in her complaint. If I am the lawyers for Leon Black, what I would do, if he's actually innocent, is go track down the dates that Ganieva is talking about when these so-called attacks happened and and show the show the prosecutors or the jury when the trial happens that uh, Leon Black was actually in a different place when she claims that she was with him in a hotel room. That's all you have to do. And people like and CEOs and, and uh, you know, capitalists like a Leon Black, they have very detailed calendars of everything they do. 
Their bathroom times and their tea times are put into their calendars by their assistants. So go back to 2008 and uh, track down the calendars for uh, for what your client was doing and show it to us. Show it to the public and show it to the jury when the trial happens, if a, tr a trial happens, if you want to show that he's innocent. If Ganeva is lying, I'll be the first one to call her out because women lying about sexual assault actually do more damage than anything else because they give excuses to douchebags who want to say that women are making it up. That's what a lot of conservatives always say, which is that the woman just had regrets. Oh, it's morning after regrets. That's what they call rape. OK, that, because they always side with men. They hate women. Uh, some conservatives, not all. I don't want to uh, bash all conservatives. There are a lot of conservatives who are on the side of women. So that's good. A lot of religious conservatives like nominal Christians, they're on the side of women. They're against rape. A lot of other conservatives make excuses and try to say that women are sluts and try, they try to slut, sh uh, slut shame women. So the worst thing you can do as a woman is lie about sexual assault. And if it's exposed that you're lying, you're giving more and more ammunition to the other side who wants to say that women are sluts and uh, men are almost never guilty of sex assault. There's a there's a lot of people who believe that who always want to make excuses for men and you're giving them more ammunition if you lie about sexual assault. So my job is to be fair to all sides. OK, if Ganyeva turns out to be lying, I'll be calling her out on this channel. So my general take on this situation is that Ganyeva is telling the truth and Leon Black is trying to slither away as you usual, as many of these people try to do. Uh, but I'm glad that the uh, DA's office in Manhattan is actually investigating this. Hopefully they can come out with some specifics about what they're doing. They're refusing to admit that they're actually uh, investigating him. That's kind of weird. Um, I think you should be proud of actually investigating the crimes here. Um, but uh, the statute of limitations on some of the assaults might not lapse because I think in one of the accusations, Ganieva said that he used a belt. And if I'm not mistaken, the, there's no statute of limitation uh, in New York when it comes to uh, rape uh, using a deadly weapon and a, and a belt can be interpreted as a deadly weapon, especially in the hands of a 200 pound plus guy uh, going after a 120 pound woman. So technically speaking, based on the statute uh, statutes in New York, this there might be there might not be any statute of limitation on one of the at least one of the rapes that Gunieva has accused him of because he used um, you know foreign objects to subdue her. So that could be interpreted as deadly weapons, and prosecutors can use that legal fact to go after uh, Leon Black criminally. Okay, so hopefully the Manhattan DA's office is able to gather enough uh, convincing evidence to actually bring this to trial. First, they would have to convene a grand jury and indict Leon Black. And then obviously the trial process can begin, but that's premature because I've covered this uh, story in the past. I just want to update you guys on some of the breaking news that's going on right now. Uh, we'll see what the DA's office decides to do. If they can find enough evidence, they will be filing criminal charges. Uh, it's the dream of all prosecutors to go after big fish like Leon Black and Jeffrey Epstein. So they have an incentive, a personal career incentive. But And besides that, Cy Vance is generally a good prosecutor, and I think he would like to go after actual rapists if he can actually make a case. Prosecutors are not giddy to bring charges against people if they can't make them stick. So that's why the DA's office has to build a case first. That's why they're talking to two of the victims to see if there's enough evidence there to start a criminal investigation and eventually do a criminal prosecution. So these are the first steps of a criminal prosecution and hopefully it goes well. Hopefully there is enough there there to start a real um, criminal prosecution of Leon Black. I'm looking forward to that uh, because I think he is guilty. That's my opinion based on the evidence I've seen. Uh, but obviously he has to be found guilty by a jury of his peers in order to um, punish him for his purported crimes. But all right, guys, that's all I got to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, press all for future videos. If you want to support the show, you can do so on Patreon and also by joining channel memberships down below by clicking the blue join button. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. As always, peace. It took a great deal of courage for her to confront the man who raped her. To tell him that in America, money and power do not tilt the scales of justice. It is up to the 12 of you to see that for once, she gets justice.